young, I was like maybe seven or eight, and I was just confused what was happening. So he went down to the hospital. We were told that Megan wasn't feeling well in the night. Went down to the emergency room, surrounded by her family, and that was when she passed away. So I think I'll always remember that day pretty clearly for the rest of my life. So much has happened from that day that I'm, we're almost like okay with it now because we've helped so many people through her journey. You know, I remember Megan uh, was adamant that all of her treasure she wanted to give to everybody um, in thanks for the love and support they gave to her. I'd go up to her room and there she would be wrapping her, her gifts to give all of the, the, her little friends at Sick Kids and the doctors and nurses that loved her and helped her. She was planting the seed back then, helping us realize that there is such a gift in, in life and, and the preciousness of life. When we unfortunately lost Megan 10 years ago, I was astounded at the amount of kids that were suffering from cancer, and particularly brain tumors. I knew that there were too many children that were still fighting, but needed our support in their journey. So I had this vision of bringing all of us together to raise the awareness of the seriousness of Megan's disease, to fundraise to help the doctors, the researchers, put an end to the seriousness of brain tumors. So over the past 10 years, Megan's Walk has allowed us to purchase a number of pieces of equipment. One of the, the most important pieces of equipment is our tumor bank uh, system that we now have. Since the purchase of the new units uh, by Megan's Walk, we now have expanded to four uh, auto-filled units that allow us to house the tumor bank. As soon as the surgery is, is done, the samples are transported here to the lab for us to do either work on it immediately or if there are samples left over, we store it in the tumor bank. And that tumor bank can store approximately 30,000 samples. The, the Mirac slide scanner is a very unique piece of equipment here at SickKids. In fact, it's the only slide scanner available within the hospital for sick children. Therefore, uh, we've made it available to the entire research community. So, in essence, not only has the BTRC benefited from Megan's Walk, in, in the research program using this piece of equipment, but so as the entire research community. We've recently purchased three new tissue culture incubators as a direct result from support from Megan's Walk. What these incubators allow us to do is as samples arrive from the surgeries, we can take them into the lab to do experiments on them. And the only way that we can do the, these types of experiments is to keep them in an environment that closely mimics the human body. These Three incubators have expanded our ability to do that and they will enable us to store and do experiments on individual cells from the brain tumors that arrive from the surgeries. It is my belief looking forward in the next 10 years that we will see a significant difference in the research done for children who are suffering from multiple forms of cancer because of the amazing research that they're doing right here in this lab today. My dream really is all of our dream, that we help these children stay on the earth with us to enjoy this magnificent world. And I cannot do it without the support of all of you. We have so much opportunity to make a difference for these children. It comes down to dollars. It comes down to funds to make it happen. It comes down to manpower. It comes down to people rolling up their sleeves to say, yes, I'm gonna offer my gift to make this world a better place. And in this moment, I want to thank everybody because everybody said yes in offering their time and their gifts to help our circle grow. 100% of our receipted dollars go right to brain tumor research. The only way that we can continue doing this work is with the sponsorship dollars that we're getting from the various companies helping us. It is a gift beyond measure because it is these dollars that help us bring our vision to fruition. My vision is all of our vision. It's the children's vision, it's the family's vision, it's our community vision of hope. As we touch one child's life, they will go and touch another child's life, and touch another child's life. And our circle will grow because people have said yes to coming together, realizing that these children cannot journey alone. We are their voice, we are their support, we are their hearts, and I can tell you the gratitude that comes from them. How can we ever put the price on the life of a child? We cannot.
when this little person at this crane ceremony handed me their crane that they had made and saying thanks, it reminded me of the beautiful gifts that Megan would give the children who she saw were suffering and that the power of that, of giving of your heart to somebody who's in need. The gifts that Megan gave to others was, was a symbol of her thanks, was a symbol of the hugeness of her heart. And compassion really is a powerful word. In, in the end of the day, we are all here to be a compassionate community. And I really feel that the gifts that we have in ourselves, if we offer to the world to help those that need us, it really is what defines us in, in, in collectively as a community. And the fondest memories that I have of Megan is her giving soul and that every single little treasure in her room she was determined to give to every person who touched her. And I think that along the way, the, the greatest gifts I've received is the gifts from so many children who say thank you. Um, and if I could, I'd wrap them up and give them to all of you in thanks for what you've done to help me bring this message. so sad the tears are in your eyes come on and come to me now but don't be ashamed to cry let me see you through cause I've seen the dark side too when the night falls on you you don't know to do nothing you confess could make me love you less I'll stand by you I'll stand by you